Hello, this is numbers lesson 4.1. In this, I will I will tell you how to find the remainder. But the most simplest concept in finding remainder that you have to replace number with remainder. Now the again I am writing the concept. What is the concept? Concept says that you have to replace the numbers by remainders are keeping all the sign keeping all signs sign means plus minus product as it is keeping all signs as it is you don't have to uh, touch them you have to keep them as it is and place the numbers with remainder by keeping all sign as it is you will get your final answer for example 180 by 7 if you find the remainder by normal method 7 2s are 14 4 will be remaining 4 0 40 7 5 are 35 remainder would be 5 now that is a bit difficult because 180 is a bit larger number it will take 30 40 seconds to find the remainder now we will divide we will break this number 18 into 10 again it is 180 18 into 10 is 180 now apply the apply the concept that I told you you have to replace number with remainder 18 is the number 18 by 7 7 2s are 14 the remainder is 4 10 by 7 7 1s are 7 remainder is 3 so what I have done I have replaced the numbers with remainder my number was 18 I have replaced this with 4 that is a remainder my number was 10 I have replaced this with a remainder 3 so that is the basic concept you have to replace the numbers with remainder keeping all signs as it is till you get the final answer till you get the final answer and that is the concept so now keeping all sign as it is 4 into 3 would be how much 12 12 by 7 the final remainder is 5 now you can see that remainder is same it is quite convenient because 180 by 7 is difficult to calculate 18 into 10 is easy to calculate another example you can take this is 36 into 5 by 7 you can break like this 36 into 5 by 7 again replace number with remainder 36 by 7 the remainder is 1 7 5 is a 35 the remainder is 1 5 by 7 the remainder is 5 by 7 again multiplied 1 into 5 5 by 7 what would be the remainder remainder would be again 5 so answer will still be same also you can break this number as not only in product you can also break in this in plus can I say this is 70 plus 60 plus 50 again this is 180 70 plus 60 plus 50 again this is 180 now what you have to do you have to replace number with remainder keeping all the sign as it is now 70 by 7 the remainder is 0 60 by 7 7 8 are 56 the remainder is 4 50 by 7 7 7 are 49 the remainder is 1 so what I have done again I have replaced numbers with remainder that was number I have replaced with remainder again 460 again for 40 keeping the sign as it is divided by 7 again you can see that 4 plus 1 5 by 7 the remainder is still 5 so that is the basic concept anytime you have to find the remainder you have to replace number with remainder see this concept is how much useful for example if I need to find 441 into 443 into 445 into 447 this divided by 9 what will be the remainder now it's very difficult to find the entire product and then calculate the remainder but what we will do we will apply our basic concept that we have to replace number with remainder till I get my final answer now 441 divided by 9 9 4s are 36 it is left again the remainder is 0 I have replacing number with remainder 0 here you will get the remainder as 2 here you will get the remainder as 5 and here you will get the remainder as not 5 here you will get the remainder 4 and here you will get the remainder as 6 divided by 9 now 0 into something is 0 so it means that this is remainder is 0 it means that this number is completely divisible by 9 because 441 is divisible so here the remainder would be 0 keeping the sign as it is 0 into something is always 0 so final remainder would be 0 in this case so that's how this concept is so much useful in finding the remainders
let's understand the concept of negative remainder what is a negative remainder for example 37 if you divide this by 7 7 5 is a 35 the remainder is 2 you can I say that 37 is 7 into 5 plus 2 if you divide this by 7 7 will be divisible remainder is 2 this remainder is positive you can say there is a positive remainder or you can simply say that this is a remainder when I say only remainder without any sign that means on, we are talking about the positive remainder we can also calculate negative remainder now 7 was the divisor take the next quotient 7 into 6 here the quotient was 5 I am taking it 7 into 6 42 minus 5 is also 37 7 into 6 42 minus 5 again uh, this is also 37 can I say that remainder is minus 5 why so because apply our basic concept 7 into 6 minus 5 if you divide this by 7 here the remainder is 0 because 7 is completely divisible by 7 so final remainder is what this is minus 5 so we can find the negative as well as positive remainder and what is the connection between positive and negative remainder let's check it there for example if you divide let's say 120 by let's say 17 17 7s are 119 this 120 is equal to 17 into 7 119 plus 1 so remainder is plus 1 positive remainder same way 120 you can write like this 17 into 8 136 minus 16 can you say the remainder is minus 16 so you can calculate positive as well as negative remainder to calculate the negative remainder we have to find the next question which is for, for which we are getting positive remainder we are getting positive remainder for when quotient is 7 apply one more 17 to 8 uh, remainder is minus 6 what is the concept you can see that if you forget the sign if you forget the sign plus and minus the sum of the magnitude of the positive and negative remainder is always equal to divisor 2 plus 5 is 7 this is always equal to divisor divisor by 7 16 plus 1 is 17 so if you forget the sign plus and minus the magnitude of the remainders would be equal to divisor for example, if I say that a number n divided by 13, the positive remainder is 9. The positive remainder, I'm just taking the positive, positive remainder is plus 9, r is plus 9. What will the negative remainder? I can straight away say that negative remainder would be, total should be 13. So 9 and that would be minus 4. Because the total, if you forget the sign plus and minus, the sum of the positive and negative remainder magnitude absolute value would be 9 plus 4 13 same if I say that n by 17 the negative remainder is minus 11 so positive remainder would be plus 6 total should make 17 here the total is 13 so very important this is this concept of uh, negative remainder also help us to solve the question in the faster manner that's why we are discussing this so there is a positive as well as there is a negative remainder let's see how we can solve the question using these concept in a faster manner question is 17,000 by 9 find the remainder you should try to solve yourself then look at the way I have solved can I say that this number I can add 17 into 10 into 10 into 10 by 9 what I will do I will replace number with remainder 17 by 9 what is 17 by 9 9 ones are 9 remainder is 8 10 by 9 remainder is 1 1 1 by 9 8 by 9 the remainder is finally 8 so this way you can easily find the remainder you can also solve this question by negative remainder 17 by 9 the positive remainder is 9 8 i told you positive remainder is plus 8 if you are dividing by 9 by common sense the negative remainder would be minus 1 because 17 is 18 minus 1 the so remainder would be minus 1 so replace number with remainder minus 1 I am using the negative remainder concept 17 by 9 the remainder is minus 1 why so minus 1 either you can understand like this 17 is 18 minus 1 so 18 is completely divisible by 9 remainder is minus 1 or you can say that plus and negative remainder the sum of magnitude will be equal to divisor plus 8 is a remainder so negative would be minus 1 again this is 1 into 1 into 1 by 9 the final remainder minus 1 into 1 into 1 minus 1 but we have to answer the uh, very important every time we need to calculate the answer answer will always be in the positive remainder 
नेगेटिव रिमाइंडर वी हैव डिस्कस ओनली टू सोल द क्वेश्चन बट द फाइनल आंसर वी हैव टू गिव इन द पॉजिटिव रिमाइंडर सो आर इज नेगेटिव माइनस वन सो पॉजिटिव रिमाइंडर वुड बी प्लस एट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द रिमाइंडर टू रिज टू पावर एट्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री नो कैन से दिस इज टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू एट्टी टाइम्स डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री Now, what the concept we have discussed? Every time the basic concept is that we have to replace number with remainder, either by positive or negative. The best is that we must find the plus one or minus one remainder, and that would be easy to solve. Can I say two by three? The remainder is two or minus one. Two by three, the positive remainder is plus two, and negative remainder would be minus one because two can be written as three minus one by three. So three is completely divisible. Remainder is minus one. Can I say this is minus one into minus one into minus one eighty times divided by three? So minus one multiplied by eighty times would be plus one by three. This remainder is one. Again, I have to apply the basic concept that you have to replace number with remainder till you get the final answer. In exam, you don't have to solve like this. Exam, you have to solve in a faster manner. Two raised to the power eighty by three. Replace number with remainder, keeping everything as it is. So two by three, the remainder is minus one. Power will remain as it is. Very important. Power remains as it is. Two by three, I have replaced number two with the remainder minus one. So minus one power it is one. One by three, remainder is one. Also, you can solve this question by positive remainder. Can I say that two power eighty is three? We we should be in search of plus one and minus one always, and that will uh, make our question very easy. Now two power eighty two by three remainder is two two square two square by three the remainder is one four by three the remainder is one so here I got the plus one remainder also so what I will do can I say this two square power forty by three because two power eighty is two square power forty four power forty by three again replace number with remainder four is my number three is the divisor four by three remainder is one. I am replacing number with remainder. Power will be as it is. One power forty is one. Remainder is one. So you can calculate the answer by positive or negative, which are way you find convenient. Uh, you can solve the question. Now next question is three raised to power eighty one by twenty eight. Find the remainder. Try to solve yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. Now I need I should insert so plus one or minus one remainder because that will make us very easy to go for powers. Now three power one divided by twenty eight remainder is three. Very last remainder three square by twenty eight nine by twenty eight again the remainder is nine. Three cube by twenty seven very important. This is twenty eight sorry three cube by twenty eight three cube is twenty seven by twenty eight. Can I say that remainder is minus one because twenty seven is twenty eight minus one by twenty eight. Now twenty eight completely divisible by twenty eight remainder is minus one. So what I will do? I will replace number with remainder. So can I say that this is the question I need to solve? Three power eighty one by twenty eight. So three raised to power three is giving me negative remainder. So can I can write like this? Three power three power twenty seven by twenty eight. This is twenty seven power twenty seven by twenty eight. Replace number with remainder. Twenty seven by twenty eight remainder is minus one. Power will be as it is. Twenty-eight. Again, minus one power odd. Minus one by twenty-eight. Final remainder would be minus one. And you know the relation between negative and positive remainder. The sum of the magnitude is always equal to divisor. So positive remainder would be twenty-seven, and that is our final answer. Now you can see that how negative and positive remainder are helpful, especially if you if you can find plus one and minus one in order to solve the question. So that was all about lesson 4.1 in the next lesson i will discuss more question on this thank you